Hello, amazing artists. Today, for art class, we're gonna focus on observational drawing. And observational drawing is drawing what you see and using your eyes to really help you determine what the details are. So today we're gonna use something that all of us have, our hand. And we're gonna use our hand to make it look like we're holding a bouquet of flowers. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my sheet of paper and I'm gonna lay my hand down and I'm gonna use my writing hand to trace lightly the outline of my hand. And you want your hand to kind of fall somewhere in the middle of your picture. And I wanna make sure that I get my wrist in there too. So I'm gonna put my hand down, kind of spread it out. You wanna hold it down on the paper so that you can go around gently with your pencil. and draw your wrist so that it goes down all the way across the page. Now, looking at my hand, I can see that I've got my fingernail, I've got some of the wrinkles where my knuckles are, and everyone's hands are gonna be a little different. So I'm gonna start with the thumb. I notice that my thumbnail is more off to the side than my other four, so when I draw that, I'm gonna look closely to kind of get the shape and I also see that I have a little bit of white on the top of my nail. And the lines on my knuckles, there are three that are really clear to see. There's a long one, one that's a little shorter, and one that's a little longer. And if I move up from hand to hand, I can kind of see that I have the same thing here. Up at the top knuckle, I see one wrinkle, and remember, yours is all gonna be a little different. So I just want you to do your best using your eyes to really try to catch your details. If you're wearing a ring or jewelry or a bracelet or a watch, you can add those things in. And it might look kind of wrinkly to you after you're done because you're probably not used to drawing a hand and then thinking, oh, I gotta add all of these little lines in to really make it look detailed. I even have some lines on the side here. There's a line down by my wrist, and I can kind of see little indents, so I'm gonna show those too where my knuckles are. And those are a little smaller on my pinky. So, as you're kind of drawing this, I really want you to pay attention to those details. After you get your hand drawn, you can look at the flower sheet that I provided on Seesaw to help you get ideas for how you'd wanna draw your flowers. Usually what I do first is I draw the stem. So if I draw this stem, it's gonna go down. Imagine it's going right down through and then I'm gonna have the bottom of the stem come here. And I'm gonna maybe do six stems. Imagine that line going all the way through. And I wanna make them thick with two lines so that I'll be able to color them. That line goes behind and comes down through. How about one more over here? That one would probably not show. And another one over here is gonna go behind that one. Like so. All right, and I can start to draw my flowers in. You know, you can choose some of these are a little bit harder than others but you want some flowers to be tall and some flowers to be a little bit smaller. After you get all your flowers drawn in, you can outline this picture with Sharpie and then use your colors to color it in. If you don't have a good skin color, you can either use your marker or a crayon would be a great choice. If you're limited on your crayon choices, just do the best you can. Color lightly maybe with your brown. That can also make a good um, skin tone. And if it doesn't match perfectly, that's okay. But those are some options. And here is one that I finished before. And you can see I did my flowers. I used marker to color, but you can certainly use whatever you have available to you at home. Don't forget to take a picture of yourself holding your artwork. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Happy art making.